Let's get ready for Community Day. I'm Professor Vokas, and this is Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Before we get to Community Day, I just have one small thing to show you guys. Um, I have been doing some fortresses as an Auror, and because of that, uh, the formidable Death Eaters have been showing up. So if you look right there, defeat 10 formidable Death Eater foes and wizarding challenges, I got it. I got my last three. Didn't even take me that long. They really do appear more for Aurors for sure. It probably took me, I don't know, maybe I might have done seven or eight, and out of those, I got three, which was great. All of them were solo, though. All of them were solo. Um, but anyway, let me go ahead and collect that for the SOS and let's see where it leads us. There we go. I had a student once. He wasn't much at first. His first two or three years at Hogwarts were not noteworthy. This is Professor McGonagall, if you can't see. But he never stopped, even though he had difficulty, difficult circumstances that gave him an opportunity for lots of excuses. He was essentially an orphan, and his circumstances made him a bit of an outsider to many. Hmm... But Neville Longbottom became one of the best students I have ever had, and eventually a professor. Perseverance can overcome a lot of obstacles. I thought she was talking about someone else. Somebody evil, perhaps. All right, so congratulations on finishing these assignments. Click below to collect your awards. Collect five gold coins. You'd think it would be so much more. Now, the crazy thing is, that's it. I, I was actually wondering what was coming next, and then I realized, oh, wait, that's the last thing. This has been the last thing for a while. In a previous video, I actually said I'm glad to see they're moving this along because these OSOS assignments have had to do with Grim Folly, and they're trying to figure out the calamity. So it's good to see they're maybe starting to move the story along. I'm sure the current world situation has made that more difficult to uh, to really get content out with them focusing on trying to get the night bus. So I totally appreciate them making it easier to play from home. Talking about community today, we briefly discussed this screen right here the other day. Um, I'm going to really briefly go over to it. It's this Saturday. It lasts all day from like 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Literally all day, which is nice. Local time, your local time. Um, and it's Dumbledore's office. It's that page in the registry, which we have looked at, and I need a lot of that stuff. And then it, all it talked about was special assignments, some returning mysterious artifacts, increased sightings of the foundables on that page. Go look at your office registry page. I don't want to go over everything. Increased chance to receive Sword of Gryffindor when using uh, art of mysterious artifact runestones and wizarding challenges. So for me, that's uh, I, I do want to get more of that for sure. Although I do have that image in my... Uh, registry page ready. Tonic for Trace, this is kind of the big one for potions. Tonic for Trace um, will be more effective for community day traces. It only takes one hour to brew, and since you have all day, you can put it in and wait that hour. Um, but if you do the master notes, it'll reduce it by 50%, so now you've got a 30-minute time. So a good day to save up those um, ingredients. So look at your uh, Tonic for Trace section. Don't necessarily brew them now, a lot of times you want to before community day. In this case, I would actually say save up all the ingredients, 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 and on Saturday morning when you wake up, just start brewing four. And if you use the master notes each time it comes available, in two hours you're gonna have four of them, and then you can just keep doing that all day if you've got ingredients and pick up more ingredients. They'll they'll probably appear that day as well. And then it says um, get involved with the social media. The one thing they didn't go over, there's, I guess, two things, and it's not here, so I'm going to go ahead, let's just, don't need the, don't need the uh, screen anymore. Um, we can just chat. The two other things I'm going to go over, number one, the store pack that will be available for that day, and I'm going to put it on the screen, probably up here next to me. Um, so the free store pack will be 25 Spell Energy, 6 Baneberry, 4 Bulbadox Juice, four angel's trumpet, and two rumpant horn, which if those ingredients seem random, they're not. It's tonic for trace detection. To be more specific, those are the ingredients you need for exactly one tonic for trace detection, because it takes six, four, four, and two of that. So they're giving you the ingredients and then you can brew it yourself, which will take care of your daily tasks. 
Um, but anyway, so that's the free store pack. That's the one thing. Then the only other thing that wasn't um, available, um, at least there, but now has come out certainly on Reddit, uh, Wizards Unite Hub has this, is the tasks for the day. So I'm going to go over the tasks. We're over one by one. I'm just going to show them one by one over here as I talk about them. So the first one is earn 800 mysterious artifacts family experience. Since that's what is going to be appearing, you should have no trouble. It's only 800 experience. I mean, that that could really be like four or five foundables of that family you catch. Maybe more, it kind of depends on what your uh, what your cast was, what the catch was, um, if you have a Barufios on, that kind of thing. The reward for it, you can see it right here, one potent um, extimulo potion. So again, one of the highest, the highest one, which is nice. Next task, use three potions in wizarding challenges. So not just, the Brufios won't really count because you're out of, out of combat at that time. In the wizarding challenges. So go on the night bus, or if you're at a fortress, if you're able to get out, go ahead into the wizarding challenges, use a wit sharpening against an elite foe, use a healing potion, use the potent extimulo potion that you got, use regular extimulus potions, just any potion that you can use um, in a wizarding challenge. Use three of those and you get one dawdle draught. Which, yeah, the, I, I don't use them a lot. I don't find them super useful, but hey, it's free. Return 15 Dumbledore's Memory Cabinet Foundables. So again, just they're going to be appearing. Return 15 of them. We All day long, we should have a chance to get these 15. One Invigoration Draw. Um, these I do use sometimes if you're on the higher level fortresses with a group of people. Sometimes it's nice to do that to give yourself some focus um, to be able to put a lot more hexes out earlier and to ha to stay ahead of the curve on getting focus. Next task, return 10 Mirror of Erised foundables. Again, they'll be appearing as traces. Just um, capture them. You get two lovage, two lovage. So you get some ingredients, which is nice. Uh, return 10 Pensive foundables. That's the next task. You get two Sneeze Wart for that. Again, those are going to be traces appearing. And return five Philosopher's Stone Foundables, and you get one Armadillo Bile. So you're getting some ingredients. Now, if you do complete all of that, I'm going to put the rewards right here. For completing all of that, um, you'll end up with three spell books. Spell books, not restricted section books. Three spell books. 40 gold, 200 wizarding experience, and you'll get 20 spell, 20 spell energy. One thing I did notice, the Sword of Gryffindor will appear more often when you use Mysterious Artifact Runestones and Fortresses, but if you'll notice, when I just talked about the tasks, it's not part of those tasks. So it really will just be a bonus thing to get. You're not required to get any for anything specific here, just if you haven't gotten them, and you're going in anyway to use three potions in Wizarding Challenges. If you're going in anyway for Wizarding Challenges, you might as well use the Mysterious Artifact and get more Sword of Gryffindors. Because you can get everything all the time, but if there's going to be more of that now, you might as well kind of stock up on that. So the things I would do, because there are going to be special one kilometer port keys, is, and yeah, you know what, I'm actually going <laughs> to, we're going to go back to my screen for this one, so you'll see it right here. So one thing I'm doing, and I've already talked about this in previous videos, is going to my port keys. If you look, I have port keys ready, 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 ready. And I have one right now that's 0.2 out of 1.5 kilometers. And I gotta tell you, I just put this in before I started this video and I've already got 0.2 kilometers. I feel like I've just been sitting in this chair. Apparently I'm floating around a bit. So if you see, I have that one and one more to go. And I've still got, for me, when this video is coming out, um, this is a Wednesday. So I've still got Thursday and Friday to fill that one up. And then I'm gonna open all these port keys and I'm gonna leave all these spaces so I can pick up port keys for the event. That pretty much sums up community day, what is going to happen. It's only one day, so they don't throw too much at you. They don't wanna make it too hard for you to accomplish everything. So take your time with everything, enjoy it, have fun with it. As I said, the only things I would do to really prepare for it, maybe gather ingredients and don't use them for tonic for trace to tonic for trace detection so that you can brew those on the day for in less time and with the master notes for half the time even of that which would be great and then uh, get clear your port keys out so that you can get all new ones for the event and just have them empty so if you have empty slots now just don't pick up any port keys right now you can get the port keys that are available now will be available after the event 
but the port keys during the event will only be available during the event. So I would just wait, stock up on those, unlock them whenever you want. That's all I've got for today. It's a short episode today, but we were going over this and that was really the prime focus. I can tell you I'm probably gonna open those port keys in tomorrow's episode. So if you wanna watch me open up uh, all my port keys in one go, probably gonna do that. And then the other thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little bit further on what I've done with the Auror skill tree. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Knox.